Power never ends. Wow, what the freak? In Michael's corner. Uh -huh. In Michael's corner. Uh -huh. In Michael's corner. Uh -huh. In Michael's corner. You can be who you want to be. All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Michael's Corner, and I thank you guys so, so, so much for tuning in. I can't express how much it means to me. It means a lot because I push myself to do it, and now that I'm finding, like, viewers and people that are actually watching my videos and actually, you know, interacting with me, it means everything. So thank you guys so much. I mean it. Um, let's get into power. Um, before we get into that, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and let's do it. All right, so uh, this was a series finale of Power, y'all. Wow, what the freak, the series finale. So it's just, Power is done. And let's just talk about the brief, just briefly talk about the episode, because I don't want to hold y'all here too long. I've been trying to keep my videos kind of shorter, so I'm, I'm gonna I'm try to hold to that. I'm gonna hold to that. Um, all right, so Power. It opens up, this is Tasha and Tariq's episode and you see the whole day play out from their perspective in their eyes. All I can say is that Tasha and Tariq had a horrible last, I guess, two days in Power World. Uh, had a horrible, you know, look, two weeks because it was a lot of stuff going on. So Tasha's little boy eye candy cute was introduced to the scene and I really like him for her. Like I really liked him for her. Um, and so you see her kind of growing with that. And then Tariq is, he get questioned by Lisa Marie, that whole situation. The things that we already seen was cool. Some of the scenes that really touched me was the scenes between Michael Rainey and Omari Hardwick, um, Tariq and Ghost, the father the yelling the father son the man i hate you dad i was in tears i was in, i was just in tears because it's literally like watching two themselves argue uh and i don't know if that's how courtney meant it but i feel like that's how it was meant because another similarity between Tariq and ghost that i don't think a lot of people know is kanan so you know kanan was shot i think in season four or season five he was killed and he keeps appearing more so to Tariq, but to Ghost as well. And he only is appearing to those two people. And this is some amazing foreshadowing that Courtney did. And I know I can just see it in her mind. So what basically the link between that is, is showing that they're the same person. Basically that Tariq is going to take over for Ghost. He even said a line in the and right before he shoot him, he was like, up until this point, you still don't see me for who I really am. Um, I'm just like you, dad, or I am you, dad, or something, something along those lines. And I'm just like, it's crazy because Kanan stopped him and Kanan said this. So Kanan is, is supposed to represent their subconscious or their innermost, deepest thoughts coming to manifestation type of deal. Um, and so that's just crazy in itself. Uh, let's see what else happened, 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 happened. So, let me give you a quick rundown of the characters and where, they're, where, they're, where they stand. Ghost is deceased. He's in power heaven. Rest in peace. Uh, Tommy is on his way to California. Before he left... Tommy was attacked by the Italians, but he killed all of the Italians and then he's leaving. So I don't know if he's burning a little bit more bridges or making it a little bit safer for him if he decided to come back. However, comma, Tommy is on his way to California. Uh, Tariq is in college at this point. Uh, I don't know how the hell he skipped. Did he graduate? Did, I, did Tariq graduate high school? Because... How the hell could you just stop? I don't know if he was his junior or sophomore year or senior year, but I don't know how that played out, but I need to go back and watch because I just thought about that. How the hell was he, was he in high school one day and now he's at, he's in college. And it's just like, that's how money works. When you got money and the connections, you do whatever. Tariq is in college and how he got to college, the connects and all the stuff that he is, Simon. Y'all remember uh, Ghost's business partner, the one that was always trying to buy, truth out 
the real racist one that always had a lot of money that was always just real extra. Yeah, him. Him and Tasha had a dinner. Tasha basically brought him up to speed. Boom, 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 bat, bat, bat. This is what we need in order for you to keep truth in your eye because I know it's something that you want. So this is what needs to be done to happen. She ended up getting Tariq into a four year university at his alma mater. Obviously pulling some stops for him to actually, you know, get some good grades and that type of stuff. And also got herself a job. Uh, he needed a diversity. He needed diversity on his uh, exec board. So in goes Tasha Green. So the last scene that we see of Power. So I watched Power Confidential. Shout out to Terrence J. That is one of the most cleanest dudes I think I've ever seen. Oh my God, and that man's style was impeccable. So shout out to, to, to um, Terrence J and everybody over at Power Confidential. Um, but I was watching Power Confidential and Courtney has said that Tasha was the very first person to open up the, the show and she's the person to close it out. Courtney A. Kemp was on Power Confidential and she brought the show full circle for me and I'm just kind of give you a brief little definition or like kind of sum it up in a little bit um so tasha was the first person we seen in power history season one episode one first person we saw tasha last person we saw tasha tasha was wearing a white dress in the very first episode tasha was wearing a white dress in the very last episode and she said the similarities between that and the reason why she did that is because she sim she thought of a white dress as a new beginning type of deal you know you're starting something new new chapter new fresh that whole situation and tasha's first words were i don't remember what she said the first words words but they had some significance with her last words which was to go to school um i don't know it was something something along those lines but just pushing Tariq into his his destiny type of deal as she's getting hauled off in handcuffs because she called the police and blamed the murder on the dude Q when all she had to do was leave well enough alone because Tariq already handled it and they thought it was Dre. Blanca didn't uh, believe it was going to be Dre after talking to Two Bit, but that was going to be Blanca's issue. Either she was going to have to figure out who actually shot Ghost or you know, uh, it was going to be Dre and then her career was going to be on the line. So she just took the easy way out. Oh, I'm going to get Tasha. Tasha did it because she called on Q and Q told him what actually happened and that took it there. So Tasha's in jail now. She's in jail, no inheritance. James left her absolutely nothing. Um, and that's the last we saw. Power is done. It's so crazy. Power is done. I remember when uh, one of my friends introduced me to it. We was, it was on what, season two at the time? Season two? Yep, I started on season two, episode three. I didn't watch anything prior to that. But I think I'm gonna go back and give it this dude diligence. <laughs> Um, let's see what else. So, hashtag power never ends. Uh, so I remember in my last video, and like I said, if you guys didn't see it, I'm gonna link it below in the description box. But in my last video, I talked about various, um, spinoff theories and topics and things that I have either heard about, things that I wanted to see come true. This is the very first time I feel like in cinematic televisionic <laughs> um movieanic whatever history where a show has been so much of soulful and received in such a positive and overwhelmingly uh great response to a, a show not only was it able to spawn one spinoff not two not three but i think four if i count it correctly so at the the very last scene of power itself was Tasha getting taken off to jail. The scene right after that was that flashback to 1996 that I was telling y'all about in my last episode that I think that they were going to, to take us back pre-power to show us them getting to the ghost of Tommy we know to, today, basically. So it showed those three and that was one, one, one situation. Now, I'm not sure about that one, but the other ones I'm positive about. So, um... Michael Raining, Tariq, is the new ghost. He has his own show. Um, it's Power Book of Two or Book Two Ghost, I think it was what it's called. He's learning the, the games. Of, he's assuming the role of ghost at this point. Um, 
I'm excited to see that. I am so excited because I know in that particular series, I know it was going to be Tariq, Sex, Method Man, Mary J. Blige, and Notori Naughton, Tasha. I, I just can't wait to see because I told, remember, I kept saying I want to see Tasha and Tariq take over, but now they've taken over, but like now this is an obstacle. T in the, in the, the muff, in the, <laughs> T is in the the uh, the Huskow because they think she didn't shot ghosts. So that's spir spin off topic two. Then Tommy gets his own show. I'm not sure what that is. I know for a fact. I think the very, I think ghosts. I think Tariq's show is gonna come out in the summer of 2020. When that as soon as that breaks. Tommy's might pick up and then Raising Canaan's is the is the fourth one I think um or wait so is Tariq got his own show Tommy got his own show Canaan Raising Canaan um I think that is going that 1996 clip was a clip from Raising Canaan where you see Canaan Tommy uh Ghost Tasha Angela Pause. all of them grow up together i think that is what raising canaan is going to be like and i think that's going to pick up um after tommy's ep episode or series takes a little break or something and then last is governor tates i uh, everybody got a spinoff everybody the story keeps going power never ends it's just so crazy that this this is what i like to see when you have a show that really breaks boundaries that really sets records that brings in the actual fan interaction versus um not versus i don't mean versus but instead of you know people gawking over because oh so and so is cute or this that no they're really invested in these characters the storyline you know it, it works so it's a beautiful thing uh i know terrence j is coming back for like the new series of power confidential i didn't catch the name of that but I'm looking forward to that. I, I want a job, one of those, uh, whether it's a power confidential, whether it's on the set. I'm trying to, I'm gonna try to, to, to see what I can figure it out and find me, find me a role on one of these shows. Okay. Um, hit my comments below. Let me know what did y'all think of this finale? Because it was bonkers. Um, what spinoff show are you looking forward to seeing? Who is your favorite character? Did you enjoy this video? Let me know. I love you guys. Honestly, truly. Happy Black History Month, everybody. Thank you guys for tuning in. And um, I'll see you next time.